Yeah, so that didn't really work. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is hard for me to do. I'm trying to think of what else I could do. That's sick! You like it? When I head into a city that's not my own, I save the first few mornings for travel jogs. What new normal be in New York City? So today's stay at home challenge is to create a travel video without even leaving our desks. You heard us right. We're gonna compete head to head to see who can create the coolest travel video. And you get to decide who is the chop champion. Rock show. And you get to decide who wins and who has to do all the dishes for the rest of the week. We thought it'd be a good time to do this challenge because a lot of people are stuck at home right now and they want to brush up on their editing chops or just build their reel. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Park Grid. Now you're probably saying, how are we going to do this without even leaving our desks? Well, we're getting all of our footage from Art Grid's library of stock footage. We're also going to be giving away three subscriptions to both Art Grid and Art List, so stick around to the end for that. Okay, let's talk challenge rules. Okay, rule one, it has to be under one minute. Okay, all the footage has to be from Art Grid. Yeah, and all the music from Art List. Okay. Um, okay, it's got to be travel themed. Obviously. How long do you want to have to edit it? You have two days to edit it. Okay, two days to edit it, 48 hours. That's enough time, right? Yeah, we can maybe like hire somebody on Fiverr. <laughs> no hiring people on Fiverr. <laughs> and no trendy wristwatches because what does that have to do with traveling? Okay, before I start, I'm gonna talk about how we normally approach travel videos and then how I'm going to approach it today. So normally when we go on a trip, we get footage throughout the trip and then when we come home, we pull selects, throw those into a timeline, and then we might just set that to music or we'll write voiceover for it and then we'll add sound effects, a LUT, and then be done. Today, the main difference is we don't have any control over the clips that exist in ArtGrid. So how I'm going to approach this is I have um, a little short story, a little vignette that I wrote about travel jogs. Um, you'll get it after you see the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for footage that kind of correlates with the theme of jogging and traveling, download those, throw them in a timeline, record voiceover, and then cut it down to fit the voiceover, add music, add sound effects, and then win the competition. Okay, so I'm just about to get started with the video. My idea so far is I wanna start the video off in an urban city environment, and then have some transitional driving, walking, whatever, and have it all build up and lead up to this beautiful view or this cool landscape, something like that. So I'm not entirely sure of how it's gonna go. I think once I start looking at some of the clips and seeing what kind of options I have, it'll help determine how the video is gonna flow. So I'm just gonna start diving in to ArtGrid's collection, seeing uh, what I can come up with. I like the idea of starting with like a wide aerial, something like that, or maybe something like this, and then transitioning it into some more urban shots. So let's see what we got. If I like a shot, I'm going to add it to a collection. Every clip is part of a story on ArtGrid, meaning there will be multiple clips from like that same location. So I, I can get in here and see that, okay, it's Hong Kong, and then I can find other Hong Kong clips if I want to keep it in Hong Kong. I can actually just sort by city, I believe. Yeah, urban and city. Okay, that makes it easier. A shot I always love is like a bird's eye of like a densely packed urban city where you can see all the buildings going right over the view of the camera. So let me see if I can find something like that. I'm just gonna search aerial. Oh yeah, look at that. I love shots like this because it's a little less uh, typical than like your normal helicopter shot of a city. First of all, I'm gonna see what city that is. It might be New York or something. And that might determine where my other shots in the city will be from. Yeah, so this looks like it's part of this flying over Manhattan. So I could sequence it by getting more clips aerial clips and then having like at least three different shots, aerial in Manhattan. As long as the time of day makes sense, it should all blend really well. I might come back and get more urban stuff later. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to our destination.
That looks like a Apple wallpaper. Oh look, it's our shot. So I actually just stumbled upon this car chase scene and um, there's some really cool shots here that I'm not sure exactly how it'll fit into the story, but I feel like it could all build up to something. So I'm gonna grab a lot of these clips and see if I can work it into the video. So I found a lot of like deserted shots of New York City because of the, the shutdown that's happened. So um, I think that could be an interesting way to start off the video is show all these deserted streets and then show our character getting out of there and going to a nice tr tropical location or something like that. So um, just kind of a fantasy really for me, so. So the first thing I'm gonna type in is just travel. Let's see what comes up. I think I'm gonna do a little montage in the beginning um, showing just some really beautiful landscapes. So I like this waterfall. Okay, I want to do a bunch of different kinds of um, places because the, the cool thing about the story that I want to make is it's not specific to one location. It's kind of about traveling all over the country and world. So here's something that looks, I don't know, more urban. I know that Brandon Lee has clips on here and he does amazing travel videos. Oh, there he is. Okay, so I'm gonna look at some of Brandon Lee's clips. I wanna look for some people jogging. See what we have on here. This is nice. Okay, the text on this one is woman running through city, which is honestly perfect. So I'm gonna click on this clip and then see the whole story that they made for this. So my idea is to get a lot of jogging clips where you can't really see the face of the person, maybe so it's close up of their shoes or a person from behind, and then only have one person where you can see their face so I can kind of cheat it and get extra clips. I'm just gonna add all of the clips of her just in case we end up using that. I might just use these clips of this woman jogging as like a a thread that goes throughout the entire story that I, I keep coming back to. Okay, I've downloaded a lot of the clips and imported them into Premiere. And now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna organize the clips, and then I'm gonna start building out my timeline. Once I get a better idea of how the sequencing and the timing and the whole flow of the video is going, I can go back to our grid and get more footage as I need to. But this should be enough to get started. I'm just gonna start labeling everything and maybe making some subfolders here. So my initial thought is to start with establishing that we're in New York City and that there aren't a lot of people around. So I'm gonna get those clips laid out on my timeline and then we'll introduce our character leaving the city. <clears throat> okay, so it's day two. I was able to download some more clips, start laying out my sequence a little bit more. And I've come to the realization that this is not an easy challenge. The combination of using only stock footage and trying to make a cohesive story all within 60 seconds has been really challenging. I have this whole car scene that's like pretty cool, maybe a little bit over the top, but it's a specific kind of car. And so if I wanna get any other stock footage, you either have to not be able to see the car too well or it has to match well enough where you're not gonna notice it. So that's about where I'm at. Plenty of work still to do to tighten things up and do a polish. I'm gonna look for a song on Artlist now. It's where we get all of our music and Fun fact, I actually have music of my own on Artlist that you could license for your videos under Generation Lost, shameless plug. I have eight more releases coming in the next um, couple months to Artlist. I just have one on there right now. You can check that out if you want. And I was thinking, I, I found some music like this. Where it's like, a complete juxtaposition to the action on screen. And I, I really like when that's done well in film and, and TV, so I was thinking I could go that route. Right. 
I can like imagine this playing during the car chase scene I have going on. I'm gonna start laying in some sound and some music and um, I'll check back in later. Okay, so it's day two. So I've downloaded about 77 clips and a thing that I don't know if we've mentioned yet is um, we're not paying by the clip, so it doesn't really matter if I don't use them. I can download as many as I want because it's a subscription-based model, so no worries there. So the plan of action for today is to record the voiceover, put that voiceover in the timeline, bring down my clips that I want to use, kind of get a feel for what works, what doesn't, see if I need to get any other ones, tighten it up, find some music, add sound effects and a lot, and win the competition. This is how I win. Okay, so where I'm at right now is I have a song in my project and I picked one of Daniel's songs so that maybe he'll vote for me and then I have all of my clips laid out um, I have all of my voiceover in and I have a little uh, montage in the beginning and some sound effects for that and I'm also at a minute 29 that's the shortest I could make it so hopefully I can get that under a minute so that I can have a, a chance of winning isn't she trying her hardest? Okay, one thing I'll mention real quick with the song. We have like this acapella pickup before the, the drums come in. It's gonna be all right. So the downbeat's right there. So I could time the downbeat with some sort of action. Either that or the pedal stomp, something like that. Or even the key thing. Maybe that. Let's see how that goes. So we'll have natural sound. Yeah, so that didn't really work. Didn't have the impact that I wanted. It's gonna be right. hmm. That didn't really work either. Let me try with the uh, acceleration, the, the pedal stomp there. Yeah, I don't know. It's I, I like it, but it's kind of weird too. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I could do. I could keep that whole car sequence really like cinematic with like pounding drums and orchestral and then have this song come in at the end when our character reaches the forest yeah so we could do um like natural sound of like the forest right here and then just time the downbeat with our character seeing our character i like it it's different for sure i'm gonna go with that i'm gonna look for maybe more of a orchestral drums and percussion and stuff like that for are like really dramatic, you know, car car scene. And then I'll get some sound effects too, which is like a it's a new thing on art list. I'm gonna get some sound effects for um, the city and the car, the engine sounds, stuff like that. It's coming together. Okay, so I found a couple of song options that I'm gonna try out for the beginning of my video, and I found another like cinematic <laughs> percussion for the car scene. And then I have that other song for the end. So I'm gonna see which one is gonna build tension the best. Yeah. Okay, I like that a lot so far. Um, let's see if the other one is gonna be better. So this one's more of like, um, it's got this low pass filter on it, which is, more, maybe more dramatic in some ways. But I think um, there's so much movement in it that it doesn't really match the footage. The footage is a lot of these like pretty safe stationary shots. So I like the the sticks, that, that percussion better. So I think I'm gonna go with that. More, It's more eerie, so I like that. I am definitely feeling very eerie. Okay, so it's day three, and I just want to talk a little bit about how I finished my video yesterday. There's just a few little tips that I thought I'd share. The first one was I downloaded quite a few clips of different people 
but it, if I show different people throughout the video, I thought that might be distracting and might pull you out of the storyline. Um, so a way that I cheated that was I scaled up the shots of um, my character who's running through, and I only showed the face of one person throughout. So there's different people's feet and different people's bodies, but I only showed the face of the character at the end. And then the other thing was, my, I feel like my video was fine, but it didn't really like go to the next level until I went through and added sound effects. And so like little parts like where you see rain coming down, I added rain. Like just parts where like you see the city, I added city noise and, and things like that really helped bring it to the next level. I don't know. I know that when I watch Daniel's video, it's going to be full of like After Effects or mm, it's going to be really flashy and mine's not very flashy. Um, so I'm ready for that and just just know that mine's not going to be like that when you watch it. That's Daniel's specialty and my specialty is air drumming. So. Okay, I finished up my video late last night. I'm going to show you a few finishing touches that I made. I had on my intro shot there was one car driving down uh, the middle of it and I wanted to really make it feel like fewer people were out and about. One of the cool things about ArcGrid is a lot of the clips have the ungraded log file for that clip. So I re-downloaded um, that clip as the log one and you can see it's like eight gigs. It's higher quality for sure. And so then I took that into After Effects all I did was keyframe the mask so it followed along with the car. And um, then I used the content aware fill in After Effects. And it did a really good job of filling in where, where that car was. So then it's completely removed from the shot. So I did that and then I um, added a LUT. I went with our MS Gray LUT from our Gamut collection. And then just a few of the clips, I just balanced out the color a little bit. Um, but most of them looked really good already. Oh, another thing I did is I uh, ripped the audio from some news reports um, just to add that into the beginning, just to really set the scene. Okay, let's watch the videos. Okay. Let's, let's just do it. Dive right in. I want to watch yours first. Do you want to watch mine first? Your preference. If you want. Okay, you watch. You watch mine first. When I head into a city that's not my own. Ooh, that's a great song. <laughs> Wow. You like it? You killed it. Thanks. I knew that you were gonna do some really good story because I had to be really quiet while you filmed voiceover. Mm -hmm. And I knew I couldn't compete with that. I think you did a really good job. I think that I'm not gonna be able to compete with your your edit. It's gonna be uh, really tight. But it's like two different styles. Yeah. Which I is. think people when they watch this they're gonna see like um kind of like a dissection of like our Well it's also interesting because I noticed some similar things you did in yours that I also did in mine. And also one thing I really liked was all the sound uh, you added in, the, like the natural sound from all those places. And the yeah, without it, it was a different video. Yeah, it really immerses mm -hmm. the viewer into it, so that was really good. Okay, here's I'm mine. ready to do some dishes. <laughs> Come on. Oh, also, yeah, that song? Primo. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wait, one <laughs> note though. Your video seemed a, a little long, Oh, no? oh, oh, that's the other thing I didn't mention. Um, yeah, it was my rule to do it under um, a minute, and I couldn't I couldn't do it under a minute. I. You're so far from mic, can you oh. still hear yourself? Yeah, I can hear myself, but it might be better. Okay. Okay, that's another thing I was gonna mention is that it was my rule to make it, our videos had to be under a minute. Okay, rule one, it has to be under one minute. Under one minute. One minute. And I think it was like a minute and a half. Disqualified. Disqualified. Disqualified! <laughs> so we'll go to the judges on that. Can I still? Yeah, yeah, you can still be in the conference. But I just get like docked points. Okay, here is my video. I have shivers already. You've been playing your race car game too much. Fun. A nice fast edit. It's really good pacing. I love this. That's sick. <laughs> I was actually thinking about doing something like that, but I was like, I don't, I don't even know where to start yeah. or how to like, how to approach it. But I think that you think you did a really good job. Oh, thanks. That's sick. I would gladly do dishes for a week for oh, that video. That's nice. Of you to say. <laughs> I liked your music choices too. I like, I really like that like, like mm -hmm. doo-wop beat. Um, what does that remind me of? It reminded me of like maybe. Like a breaking 
bad thing or something. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yep. Yeah. When I head into a city that's not my own, I save the first few mornings for travel jogs. Travel jogging isn't like regular jogging. It exercises different parts of your body. When I'm home and jogging, I watch my feet and the pavement. My head is down. My thoughts are loud. There's a clear finish line. When I travel jog, I step outside, sometimes seeing a new city for the first time in daylight, and choose a direction on a whim. I don't hold a map. I don't drop a pin. I'm stripped of everything but my senses. I wind through new cities in five to seven mile chunks. I turn when it feels right, mentally tracing landmarks. These are my breadcrumb trails. Every new city is a new person that I learn inch by inch. I choose sidewalks and assign favorite corners. I revisit each day. When I return to these cities after a few months or years, I catch up. I see them in new lights and new seasons and decide which I prefer. When I'm home and itching not to be, I vividly remember the places that I've seen. These are my strongest memories. I could draw a map of each, but they wouldn't read like the glove compartment kind. Instead, they denote where the best ivy crawls and the exact plot of sidewalk where careless tree roots are peeking through. That was fun. That was so fun. We should do yeah. that more often. Yeah. Okay, you've just watched our completed travel videos. Assuming we finish them. We're filming this part first. We hope this inspires you to create something even if you can't travel somewhere cool. Okay, now let's talk giveaway. We've talked our grid into giving away three subscriptions to both our grid and our list. So if you want to win, click the link in the description, vote for your favorite video, and you'll be entered. And you'll be doing dishes. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell, wash your hands, stay at home, vote for me, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.